optical fibres are recognised as being a fundamental requirement for network transformation. And earlier today, Elaine Bettina of Prismian gave a significant presentation in the Voice of the Industry session here at the FTTH Council Europe Conference in Valencia. Elaine, one of the things you were talking about was fibre ubiquity. What did you mean by that? Uh, fibre ubiquity. When we think about it, ubiquity is... What exactly does it mean for a network? Fibre, as you mentioned, is an exceptional media because it's virtually unlimited in bandwidth and it's more and more connecting all the parts of the networks. Initially started with the fixed networks, the enterprises networks, and now it's getting more and more in the mobile networks also. And with all the access points getting now denser and denser, and especially in the cities, you have this need for fiber connection to all these different points. And that's what I call fiber ubiquity. That is to say, wherever I am in a city, in an urban environment, in an enterprise environment, I need to have access to a connection point, to a fiber to basically be able to connect my objects, my access points, back to the network. And this is what I meant by fiber ubiquity. And this is a lot of challenges associated to that because you need to, to install this fiber ubiquity. You need to put in the ground, in areas that are already very dense and populated, you need to install in the ground enough fibers to be able to reaccess them and branch them on demand when you're ready to install access points. That's what I meant with the fiber ubiquity. So how do service providers plan for this? Uh, that's a very, very good question because if I look at the past, the way service providers used to be rolling out the networks were kind of in silos, I would say. The fixed access was doing the fixed rollout, the mobile access, the mobile rollout. Now we, we see some initiatives around the globe of some service providers trying to be consistent in the way they deploy the networks in such a way these networks can be, I would say, ubiquitous. I don't know if this is the right word, but, but definitely um, able to host different kinds of connection points, fixed, enterprises, mobile, kind of a generic network pre-installed, available in the ground, and then accessible on demand. And, and, and that kind of initiatives of getting rid of purpose-built network and more build a, a generic or general purpose network, it's kind of the way to go for, for some uh, big uh, service providers around the globe. But as this network grows, does it become more of an issue to actually power the network? Ah, that's, 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 I would say, a next step of the challenge because basically all these points to the network, these, ac these access points, be it, I would say, fixed uh, termination or mobile, small cell, Internet of Things, object, whatsoever, they, they will need power supply. And this power supply, either you're able locally to find local power supply, but sometimes this is getting really complicated. And there is one way to optimize basically the, the, the operations of the network is try and become central and remote power as much as you can the different objects. But this is also associated to a series of challenges that We've been starting to work on with hybrid solutions, for instance, putting in a cables and, and in boxes the possibility to have the fiber plus some conductors for the power. But we are, I would say, at the beginning of it. It will become more and more uh, a point of attention because, again, power supply, data backhauling are going to be the arterias or, or the heart of the future uh, networks, smart cities, or even uh, yeah, the future mobile networks, fixed mobile enterprises. So what, what we are currently busy doing is very exciting because we need to be innovating and we cannot do that alone, we do that with uh, our partners. Innovating now, putting in the ground solutions now that are flexible and reusable for power supply and fiber. Very exciting. Well, I'm sure it is going to be, because, but we've got to have this network if we're going to have 5G and IoT, artificial intelligence, all these things need that network. Exactly. 
that's exactly it, and needs that net network when they are ready to be connected to the network. But it has to be pre-installed and, and, and thought about well in advance and in a smart way. Alain, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Pleasure.